Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My name is Muhammad Shoaib. Welcome back. Today in this tutorial video, we will learn how we can configure a pop-up window inside the WinCC SCADA. So, for example, if you have uh, the, your runtime application and you have any of the object like suppose pump, and you want once you click over the pump, one pop-up window should be appear, and through that you can control your pumps and other parameter and you can monitor your other parameter also through the pop-up window. So how we can configure like that pop-up window inside the WinCC SCADA, we will learn in this tutorial. Let's see practically how we can configure it. So WinCC Explorer is open now. Come here in the graphic designer. So we will create a new picture. Right click, create a new picture. And right click rename. So I will put like motor one pop up. Okay. Right click open. So in the first step, we uh, develop our the pop up screen. And in the second step, we will link our pop up screen with our main overview screen. So our graphic designer is open now. So first step, we will change the width and height of our screen for pop-up. I will put 200 and I will put 220. Then effect, global color scheme, no. Color, background color, like I want to put yeah, maybe 1D and 1 press enter. After that, I will take one rectangular for the header. Oh. Fine. Now I will change the color. First effect global color screen should be no. Then color, background color. And I will put it. And I will take the static text and that in static text, I want to put like my pump one. Then effect global color scheme no, then style, fill pattern transparent and line weight should be zero. And font should be bold. The size should be like 17 or 20. You can put it. Okay. And then the font color. Font color should be white. Okay. So I will align it. Okay, fine. Now I will import the SVG object. Come here and then the pumps. And select the pumps object. And just reduce it. Okay, fine. And just line it. Now I will take a button. Okay, I will right now start. And color I want green. And turn style of here. Okay. Now I want the bold and font I want to get it in case. Okay. Okay. Color background color I want green. 
Okay, and lower color scheme should be no. And font color, like I want to change the font color, that I want to font color like black. Okay, fine. So I will just duplicate it. Okay, then I will just change the background color to red and text. I will put it stop. Okay, that's it. Here I'm not going to configure uh, with uh, and any of the tag or link my tags with the pump because in this tutorial we're just going to learn how we can open open the pop up inside our main overview screen. I will save it. And after that, I will open my main screen. Okay, so here I will take a picture window. I will place it here. Okay, so why I want to place it here? Because I want, once I will click over the pump, the starting point of window, that pop-up should be open front of the pump. Okay, so first step, come in property window, I will rename this object. Suppose I will put my pump one, pop-up. Okay. Then come here in miscellaneous. I want to resize able, move able, yes. Border should be there, title should be there. Okay, maximize close able that I will later I will explain you and then the adder value also later I will explain. Okay, so uh, after that, here I have to link this picture window with our pop up. So come here in the picture name, double click here, and our pop up name is a motor one pop up. Select it and press OK. After that, we will link this picture window with our pump objects. We want once you click there, this uh, this pop should be appear. So select the pump and then come in the mouse left, direct connection, connection one. And from here, we can select on one pop up and display and save it. And press over the run. So our runtime is open. So as you can see, without pressing this window is appearing because in the property, select the picture. In the miscellaneous this display, we should have to put it no. So if you will not put it this display no, then like that it will appear. So just put it no and save it and run it. So it will not come over the runtime. So once you click it on that time only, it will appear here. Now here is the problem. You are not able to uh, getting the button, close button. There is multiple way. Either you can put inside a popo some close button. Once you press that one, that will also find. It. Then you don't need to put there inside the header uh, area. Open uh, close or minimum or maximize button. Okay. So if you want, like, like should in the pop up some close button should be appear. Then select this picture window. Come in the miscellaneous and. After that, um, you will enable it again. Resizable, movable, yes. Border, okay. Title color. Now maximize, you should put it yes. Close it should be yes. And select, save it, and run it. So now once you op open the pop-up, you can see here, you can easily able to close it, minimize and maximize. And even now you can move here and there your pop-up also okay so now one more uh, issue is appearing here we are not able to identify what is uh, this pop-up uh, header name or title name so we'll just come here again select the picture window miscellaneous 
and here in the header you put the name suppose i will put it like form one save it and run it so once you click it you can see here the pump one in the title name is same so it's up to you how you want to configure the lots of uh, way you can configure it so alhamdulillah we learn how we can configure a pop-up window inside the wincc scada so that's it for today thanks for watching this video